People were jumping out of third floor windows to escape a fire at a West Des Moines hotel overnight. KCCI Scott Carpenter is live at the Valley West Inn as firefighters work to figure out what started that fire. Scott? Yes, Stacy, the West Des Moines Fire Department says they know the fire started on the first floor and then rapidly spread through the building, showing you some of the damage that is left behind today. Crews still out here working at the scene. Uh, fortunately here, nobody died and there are only minor injuries tonight. This was a significant event, a very high hazard, high occupant event. Fire alarm sounded at the Valley West Inn at 1116 last night. Minutes later, residents scrambled to get out of the building. However, they could. Our room just filled up full of smoke and you couldn't see anything at all. Yeah, it yeah, took like a couple we of had seconds. to jump out our window. A number of pets and infants had to escape upper top floor windows. Some who had safely gotten out helped firefighters rescue those still trapped inside. A lot of them, their survival modes kicked in. A lot of them were helping their fellow residents that were here. West Des Moines Fire Marshal Mike Witzel says the rescue effort was a success. No deaths and only minor injuries. After everyone was accounted for, several fire departments worked to put out the rapidly growing fire. It's not clear how it started, but Witzel says sprinklers would have helped temper the blaze. It would have made a huge difference likely, but those sprinkler systems are designed to hold a fire in check. Now, Valley West End was not required to have sprinklers when the building was built, so they're not required to have them today. Over 100 residents have been displaced. They can only come back today to grab essential items like medicine, keys, and wallets. No word on when they'll be able to return to the building.